Hello, Renergy family. Steven here. Today's video, we will be covering two different types of 60 amp MPPT solar charge controllers. First, we will be covering the entry level, budget friendly charge controllers with these two. Then we will cover their advanced level, not so budget friendly controllers with these two. We will highlight their features, pros and cons, and overall performance for you to have a better understanding of these units. Let's quickly cover what an MPPT charge controller is. An MPPT charge controller is the brain of the solar system. It brings in solar energy and regulates it according to the battery type and sends a safe charge to the battery at 90 to 99% efficiency. We will also be doing a real world test with solar input on each unit. First up, we have the AP Series 60 charge controller. Second up, we'll have the Rover 60 amp charge controller. Third up to bat, we'll have the Smart Solar 60. Lastly is gonna be the new Rego 60. We will start with the entry level units. First up is gonna be the AP series unit. The AP series has a easy to use design with an LCD display, LED indicators, buttons to change settings, and standard screw terminals for input. It can handle a maximum solar input of 900 watts. The maximum solar input voltage allows for 150 volts in, and the battery voltage ranges from 12 to 48 volts, which can handle many different types of batteries, including AGM, sealed, gelled, lithium, and a user setting. One big highlight of this Series 60 is very budget friendly and it's a great price to start off with this size charge controller. This unit is backed with a one year warranty. Next, we have the Rover. The Rover 60 has a very user friendly design, which has an LCD display, LED indicators, buttons underneath to change settings and standard screw terminals for input. You can handle a maximum solar input of 800 watts in a 12 volt system. The maximum solar input voltage allows for 150 volts in. The battery voltage ranges from 12 to 48 volts, which can charge many different battery types, including AGM, sealed, gel, flooded, lithium, and also a user setting. One big highlight of the Rover 60 is the additional load terminals, which can be used to run and control DC loads on your own custom settings. This unit has an optional display which can be connected through the Bluetooth module and pair up with the companion app and the Renogy One. So you're able to monitor and control your unit from many different options. This unit is backed with a two year warranty. Great, now we can move on to the advanced level units. First is gonna be the Smart Solar. The Smart Solar 60 has its classic standard design with LED indicators, a battery pin selector, and standard screw terminals for input. It can handle a maximum PV input of 860 watts in a 12 volt system. The maximum solar input voltage allows for 150 volts in, and the battery voltage ranges from 12 to 48 volts, which can charge many different battery types, including AGM, sealed, gelled, flooded, lithium, and also a user setting. One big highlight of the Smart Solar 60 is that it's been on the market for a good amount of time and has a great track record from its end users. With built-in Bluetooth, it pairs up with its companion app, so you're able to monitor and control your unit remotely. And there's also an external display option. This unit is backed with an outstanding five-year warranty. Last is the Rego 60. The Rego 60 has a sleek, robust design with LED indicators, a user-friendly battery knob to change your battery type. One of the biggest highlights on the Rego is the user-friendly Anderson connectors. These are first of their kind on a solar charge controller and it will reduce installation time, provide a more secure connection, and ensure no errors occur during installation with its foolproof design. It can handle a maximum solar input of 800 watts in a 12 volt system. The maximum solar input voltage allows for 100 volts in. The battery voltage is at 12 volts and can charge many different battery types, including AGM, sealed, gel, flooded, lithium, and also a user setting. It has built-in Bluetooth, which pairs up seamlessly with our smart device companion app and Renogy One, so you're able to monitor and control your device remotely. This unit is backed with an outstanding five-year warranty. So each unit, you're able to monitor all your real-time information as far as volts, amps, and watts coming in. You're able to track this information for about 30 days on these units. The Rego is a little bit more advanced with the monitoring and you could track it for a longer period of time. So if you needed to go back for a longer period of time, you could pull that up with the Rego. Awesome, let's go ahead and start with the real world testing. So today we're gonna be using the 200 watt solar suitcases 
so we can see what kind of real world numbers we're actually getting on these charge controllers. On the AP series unit, it looks like we are getting around 165 to 170 watts of solar input in these conditions. Next on the Rover, we're seeing around the same. It's bouncing around from about 165 to about 175 watts of input in these conditions. Next on the Smart Solar, we do have to pull up the Smart Companion app and we are seeing the same, somewhere around 160 to 170 watts of input. On the Rego, we are seeing around the same. And we did do some factory testing and we were seeing 89% of solar input on the AP series. 90% of efficiency on the Rover, 95% on the Smart Series, and then we were seeing 93% on the Rego. So you can kind of see the differences between the entry level units and the advanced level units. So what did we learn? We learned that all these MPPT charge controllers are great for off-grid solar charging. Some are more budget friendly, which are less features, whereas the others are more costly and have more features. Let's go over the pros and cons. First, the AP Series Pros. It is the lowest budget entry level unit and has an easy to read display. The cons, it has no Bluetooth communication and has the lowest MPPT efficiency. Next, the Rover Pros. It is backed with a two year warranty and has full load terminal control. The cons, it is the heaviest unit and it needs additional mounting brackets, which are included. Next is the Smart Solar. The pros are that it has a great track record on the market and it has the highest efficiency of MPPT charging. The cons, it is the highest costing unit and it has an old traditional design with minimal LED indicators. Last is the Rego. The Rego's pros are the Anderson Quick Connector Terminals, which are first of its kind, and the intelligent monitoring with built-in Bluetooth via the DC Home app or the Renogy One monitor. The cons are it has no onboard display and it's only for a 12 volt battery system. Well, there you have it. I hope you learned something new about MPPT charge controllers and the differences between the entry level and advanced level unit. This is Steven again. Please leave your comments and questions below and we will gladly answer them. Thank you for your time and good luck with your solar journey.